I want to take a little time, a little time to think things over. Once again, Santos Jr. here, a.k.a. Soldier of Self Mastery, straight out of Stockton. I want to hang out with you for just a few minutes. I'm going to do my best to get you through this as quick as possible. So you want to help a soldier. You want to help a problem gambler. I call a problem gambler a fallen soldier. So you really want to. Uh, you, you're thinking about this. I want you to hang out with me here for, for just a few minutes because I'm going to talk about three things, three important things, right? I'm going to talk a little bit about mindset. I want to talk about uh, some learning. And I also want to talk about the type of, of person that you really can work with. Get ahead of the potato sack race. <laughs> That's the number one thing that you want to do is you want to get ahead of the potato sack race. Okay and you are thinking about wanting to help a problem gambler. That's what this video is gonna be all about, really. It's gonna be about helping. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give you some ideas. I'm gonna share some solutions and hopefully we'll be able to make a good salad that we can both eat and maybe even share some of that salad. Uh, do you like salad? <laughs> I, I really enjoy a tasty salad with homemade ranch dressing. We can pass that on to somebody else if you may have experience as a as a gambler having experience as a gambler is gonna is you're ahead of the you're ahead of others in the potato sack race <laughs> right you're ahead of others if you have that experience one thing that you and I have to understand is the person they're very crafty they're they're very deceptive They've tapped into their own superpowers without even really knowing it. In order to keep the gambling habit, in order to stay in front of these machines, in order to feed the need, there has to be money. You have to continually get money. And in order to get money, the, especially in these days that we're living in, this COVID-19 experience that you and I are going through, it's not... It's not that easy for some to acquire income. I mean, it's not, we have to be honest, right? Acquiring income, generating income in these days is a little bit more tougher than it was three or four months ago. You have to understand the mind a little bit, the mind of a gambler. Now, this is where I get to say, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe or soldier scribe, and there's gonna be information below there in the description box area you can take a look at and you can see exactly what this million man army buildup is all about always leave a always leave a comment because when you leave a comment it's going to it's going to help somebody it's you're going you're paying it forward you're planting a good seed and that it, that good seed will end up or how it may blossom what kind of a harvest it may produce for you or for somebody else uh so and if you, if you are an ex-gambler, then you understand this perfectly. In order for an ex-gambler to change his ways, to change his behavior, to, to keep himself or herself out of a casino, there has to be a, a mind shift. There has to be a change of direction. And that has to happen inside the mind. How it happens when and where is part of your creativity you're not going to change another person unless that person is wanting to change you may be in a situation where you honestly feel empathy you feel compassion you melt when this person may come around or in a they're in a trance they're in a kind of like what we're in this time capsule called COVID-19 we are in a time capsule this is an experience that you and I are going through the the problem gambler is in a is in a is is in a time capsule and you have to be really you have to understand the mind you have to understand the problem gambler because if you don't what you can do is you can actually hinder 
the relationship that you may have with this individual, you may further push somebody to gamble even more. Now, th they have the decision that they're making, right? But what I'm saying is we have to be very, very careful because we can cause people, we can influence people. And sometimes if we're not careful, we can influence them in the wrong direction. And we definitely don't want that. You have to be creative. You have to be very, very, you have to use your imagination and you have to be very creative and you have to really learn how to think. If you're going to truly help a problem gambler, you need to learn how to stop and really think, you know, analyze, kind of read people a little bit. Well, yeah, you can study behavior, why, why we do what we do. And it's important in some, in some instances, it's important to know why we're doing what we're doing. You know, why, why is this person gambling? People gamble for many reasons. Ultimately, there's a need there. Ultimately, there's there's a desire, there's a want. There's something deep down inside that, that individual is getting from gambling. I know early on in my life, it was problem. It was a seed that was planted when I was rolling dice with some of the older men in the neighborhood when I was about 13, 14, maybe even younger. It was an escape for me. Very early on, that seed had been planted in the subconscious part of the brain. The part of the brain that is running things. <laughs> your subconscious, your conscious thinking. And where we need to get into is the subconscious. That's what we need to get into in order for change to take place, in order for behavior to be replaced. You have to work inside the mind Romans 12 verse 2 the part of the verse says uh, to not be conformed to this world but be ye renewed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God you have to educate you have to be willing to take on some responsibilities that maybe you weren't taking on before If you truly want to help somebody, if you truly want to help a problem gambler, again, depending on the situation, you may be able to help them. Or you might be just a person that's wanting to get into this field where you want to help problem gamblers because maybe you were a problem gambler. So, of course, you understand problem gamblers uh, better than most because you've been through the experience. And, you know, it's a horrible experience it is. Problem gambling is a very dark, it's a very lonely it's very deceptive. Uh, it's a very deceptive practice. It's a very deceptive uh, exercise that we do. Everything that we do that potentially becomes a habit is because of repetition. Repetition. And of course, when you've done gambling so long, it rewires the brain, it rewires the way you think, and it really messes up your world. It really, it messes you up. That's why I have a lot of compassion today for people because I've been through it. I've, I've gone through the losses. I'm still working through the collateral damage that I caused in my life after 32 plus years. This is a very, very serious issue. It's a very dark issue. For, for me today, it's a very promising energy to talk about these things because I know that I can help you on the other side. Follow me. I'll, I promise to help you stay free. That's my ironclad guarantee. I know that I can help you. I know that I can help anyone. <laughs> Providing one thing. We're going to talk about that here pretty soon. We also want the subconscious to help us fight against the bad habits. But unfortunately, the subconscious doesn't know the difference between a bad habit and a good habit. It just knows that it is something that has been used to it or something that has, it's been exposed to something for so long, it, it's become part of the routine, it's become habit. And that's why it's so difficult for problem gamblers or anybody for that matter to break habits because you have to get into your subconscious. Now, where is your subconscious? Uh, all of these, there's so much information, there's so much research, there's so much scientific uh, documents, documentation, papers, blogs. We'd, we're not going to know all of this stuff through and through because only God knows. He's the maker of the human mind. 
and the body and these experiences that you and I go through. We can tap into our superpowers though. We can tap into our inner genius and become very, very creative and we can change. We can transform our lives. We don't have to follow the, the trends. I mean, you can, there's a lot of sources and I'm gonna get into that here. You wanna work with hungry folk. You wanna work with somebody that really wants to do something. Some people are out there, they're looking, they're stumbling around in the dark. They're falling, you know, they're throwing their hand up, but after a while you realize some folk you got to let them go you just got to let them go you can't help them because you know that they're not helping themselves you have you can only honestly work with people that really want to work with themselves now that I'm not saying to give up on people pray for people right you see somebody drowning and they're fighting you they don't let you got to let them go Maybe you can get creative, right? Being creative is letting people go sometimes. That hurts, Santos. Yes, it hurts. Helping a problem gambling, help, helping a problem gambler hurts sometimes. It hurts very, very tragically. Uh, you can, you can help, but in all honesty, you know the hungry part is you can't go forward if the person's not hungry. <laughs> you know you. You got to know, I have a little bit of an understanding of the mind, the way the mind works and why it is so difficult for some people to get away. You notice that for some people, it is easy for them to break habits. So other people, it's very difficult. I believe that it's, it just depends on how deep uh, that seed was planted in the subconscious. I believe that the deeper the root, the stronger the roots, the more spread out, the harder it is to cut that tree down. You can persuade somebody into a live-in program. We have these programs where people, they get together and they they pressure the, the individual, right? It's uh, the intervention group. They're all in there. They're, they're real happy. They're all fired up. And the guy shows up, the, or the victim, right? They show up and it's like, uh, some people end up really pissed off. Some people end up going into a program because they feel pressured. So that could work. If that individual that goes into that pro living program for 30 days or 45 days, however long it is, if there's programming in there that gets into the mind, if they understand how the subconscious works, while that person's in there, that person can be exposed to that. When you understand what you're about, when you understand who you are, when you understand what you're capable of doing, when you understand that you've been given a gift, when you understand those things, it makes it a lot easier uh, for us to help others and for the individual working on getting into his own freedom. It makes it a lot easier. It makes it a lot. Uh, and then, you know, the other thing is persuasive life hacks. You can team up with a person like myself. You can team up with soldiers of self-mastery. You can go to school for six months, for 12 months. You can get a coaching license. You can become a doctor. There's many different avenues, right? We talked about educating yourself. You have to know what's best for you. You have to know where exactly you want to go. You, you have to know what direction would be best for you. How do you want to help a problem gambler? The same way that you've helped yourself, if you are a problem gambler, maybe you can tap into that. You can. Uh, tap into that a little bit deeper and just you know become more creative and use your imagination and really really just dig into that thing and make some great things happen from that area we can make some really good things happen I'm very grateful I'm very thankful I've been free I'm free and that I believe that I can continually keep myself free that's what's important to me and that's my message. That's what we have to get into our spirit in order to be able to, to, to transfer that into the life of a problem gambler. If you truly want to help a problem gambler, you have to have some kind of superpower yourself. You have to have some... That childlike faith within you has to rise up sometime, somewhere. And now is a good time to be doing it, especially during this COVID-19 time capsule that we're in. Talk, mirror talk, video therapy, journaling, using a book, going to a webinar online, going to a, well, you can't go to a conference, 
right? They have these programs that you can go to. Right now, a lot of it's online. Gamblers Anonymous, you can physically go. Some of these programs help people. You have to be very, very meticulous. You have, again, you have, to, you have to think, you have to really, really focus in on where, what's the best direction for you. You should be planning something out. You should have some sort of a plan because if you don't have a direction, you really don't know where you're gonna go with this. And if you're struggling with that, work, work with your plan, work with whatever you have. You know, you're special, you're unique, you have your own talent, you have your own ability, you have your own gift. You can help a problem gambler, whether they're family member, friend, colleague. You can, providing these scenarios are there and the doors open. That's all I want to share with you here. A thumbs up will work very well. If you want to support this mission with a love gift to help me reach young people, older people, help me get this message, this million army build up. I want to reach a million people. I want to reach a million folks. I want to help transform a million individuals away from gambling, away from a horrible addiction that might be destroying them. Away. That's my goal. That's my mission. You can partner up with me and we can work together on this. Like I said, there's different ways to educate. There's different tactics. There's different rituals that we can share. There are, I call them life hacks. The life hacks that have worked, that still work for me very marvelously. I love sharing those. All right. Once again, Santos Jr., straight out of Stockton. I'm glad to be free. Follow me. I'm going to help you get free and stay free. That's my ironclad guarantee from this day forward and check out soldiersofselfmastery.com